Hello, my name is Drew Devitt, and you're here at New Way. We're going to share a radio air bearing application with you. In this case, our customer built wafer flatness and thickness measuring machines. So here's a casting that was the heart of the machine. This is a diamond turn surface here. There's one on the other side where this thrust bearing mounts. You can see there's another, this is the front side thrust bearing. So 360 degrees, of course, carbon air bearing and a diamond turned surface that mounts here. The rotor itself is also a diamond turned artifact. You can see the excellent surface finish on this component. So it's turned to be round to less than a tenth of a micron and we also control the thickness to within a tenth of a micron, matching the thickness with the thickness of the stator, so that we have about seven microns total clearance on either side when we're done. Radially, the rotor is supported on our modular gimbal mounted air bearings. So these bearings uh, gimbal to allow self alignment on a ball that's mounted in the casting. So these bearings fit inside of the web in the casting here. They uh, are hard mounted on one side and air cylinder mounted on the other side. So two bearings preload against another two bearings. There's only two bearings in the image here, but four bearings are used in total. The advantage that air bearings gave this customer was very high speed with almost no noise or error being generated. So 500 RPMs on a half a meter diameter and also very low asynchronous face error motions. So because there's probes on either side, any face error motion would have reduced the resolution of the measurement. So to have an excellent axis of rotation with very little asynchronous face error motions was very critical in this application.